Hey, hey, hey! So today we're gonna look at how to use a laser liner to make, um, to write in straight lines on a piece of paper without actually making physical guidelines on your envelope, but instead making them on another sheet, um, maybe an extra sheet that you have lying around. Um, so real quick, these are the tools that you're gonna use. Um, a plastic ruler, uh, preferably transparent, so you can see where you're, well actually it's just easier to draw the lines when it's plastic and it has these guide marks on its um sort of like guidelines on it on itself that you can use as you make those lines um a pencil the pen that you're going to write on the envelope with i am using a tombow if you do not okay hard pen um your laser liner of course i'm using one from um, black and decker you can easily find it on amazon um, if you click one of the links in the uh, blog post or you can get it off of Amazon or if you just Google it um, I usually just put in black and decker laser liner um, You're gonna see quite a few different results pop up that can take you um, to the store that offers these and some scotch tape Alrighty, let's get going. So first steps first um, Take a plain sheet of paper um, if you have one lying around that's spare uh, that's perfectly okay. Um, that works for me. Um, so for this envelope job, let's see here. So I am lining it up with the edge of the, um, I'm lining the edges together. And then at the very bottom, so that looks like it's here. So if you see what I just did, I lined the edge, placed my ruler where the um, bottom edge of the envelope meets the ruler um keep that aside for a while and then just draw a straight line um the next step is drawing the um line spacing so depending on how spaced out you want the lines on your envelopes to be um, you can choose maybe you want them very wide apart so you can choose that height or if you want them closer you can choose maybe that height um, I'm going to go with the larger space, which is this height here. Um, so I'm going to keep the envelope aside for a bit. Um, and I'm going to draw guidelines with this height. So let's see. Oh, and yeah, um, you might want to keep some extra space at the bottom. Uh, just because of how the um, envelope is usually set up, there's extra space at the bottom and the top. So I'm going to give it some little extra space at the bottom and then use this height to draw my lines um, on my guideline template. Next, I will number my lines from zero at the bottom. So this is where I'm going to place my envelope. I call that line zero. Um, and then I start from the top. So I've left some space at the bottom of the envelope um, just because it looks pretty. And I've left, left some space at the top for stamps as well. Um, so I will call this line one, two, three, four, five. And then depending on how many lines you actually need, you can adjust that uh, depending on where you place your envelope. So you can center it that way very easily. Next, I'm gonna keep my ruler and pencil away for now and then I'm gonna take my scotch tape and tape this guideline template that I just made um, onto my table directly so that it doesn't move while I scribe. And then finally, when it comes to actually writing um, on your piece of paper or um, any other thing, what you're gonna do is, oh yes, you also need a binder clip. Um, I'm gonna take a binder, cl binder clip um, and simply attach it over here after I make sure that the, um, the, the our bottommost uh, line, the line zero that we call it, or our baseline, um, is over, um, the envelope is overlapping or just touching that bottom most line and in a moment we'll see how that helps us um, so there we go um, now I'm gonna take my black and decker laser liner I'm gonna switch it on uh, when you get it you would probably want to 
uh, put some batteries in it um, although I think it comes with a pair but they're not very long lasting so make sure you have some on hand um, and that's it um, okay no that's not it so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take a liner and place it to the left edge of your envelope uh, and make sure that the line from the laser liner overlaps your first guide uh, first line so remember how we numbered these so this is your first one so we're going to start at the top and then go down so there you go All right so make sure it overlaps it and or maybe you could another way to think about it is that the first line should be in the center of that laser line and then i'm gonna do this for now so you see how it goes across your envelope all the way to the other side same thing um, you want to make sure um, that your laser line starts at one edge one side of the envelope and then goes to the other side and still keeps that um, uh, and still remains sorry um, sorry my camera was upside down so you want to make sure that your laser line starts at one side uh, one edge of the envelope goes all the way across it and then meets that line on the other side as well because this is what gives you a straight line which is why you also need to be careful when you um, make your guidelines because if they are not straight uh, your text is not going to be straight either um, in your um, on your um, envelope sorry I got a little distracted there um, so that's about it. Um, let's start writing now. So let's see. So once you're done with your first line, simply take your laser liner and move it down to your second guideline, making sure that again, your laser line overlaps the guidelines on both sides. There you go. Um, so I can switch it back off now and as you can see all the lines on my envelope are in a straight line and I did not have to make any lines pencil lines on the envelope itself and then erase them later on um, and again if you have any questions comment below or email me at hello at calligraphy quill that's double L in calligraphy and double L in quill dot com hope this helped